ولاك ب ب ب شوف يا القالي شوف شنو يا القالي ابسود نمبر 2 فروم كندا اول ذا واي داون تو كويت دي ان اي باور يا القالي دي ان اي وشنو باور وذ دكتور لويس دكتور يو نو وات ام فيري اكسايت تو هاف يو باك اجين اون ذا هاوس ستريت ديزل اند توداي از ام ماي ريزلتس رايت Absolutely, we can't wait to have them. Uh, today, we will see the DNA, the genetic testing that I did this day. Today, we will see it. I saw a test with Dr. Lewis. So, I will explain the genetic testing in detail. Dr. Lewis, can you tell us, um, how do you see my results with my DNA um, results that I did last time? It's been like it was it's been like three weeks, right? Yep, yeah. and uh, so you had uh, so we've got, we're gonna walk through them. I'm gonna show everybody what we've got. I love that you're gonna share those results with everybody. Uh, you've got some excellent genes and you've got a few that you need to watch out for and I think you're gonna know which ones they are when we see them. Oh definitely, definitely. Well I'm, 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 by the way, uh, during this um, gap that we say, um, I didn't even use my time and then استخدم وقتي لشان انا حاجتني اصابه هني تمزق بالاوتر التريسبس البو تريسبس البو تي تمام المايك فسويت استخدمت وقتي ودرست I've used my time during this period to study my certification in DNA diet health and fitness specialist so The language of what Dr. Lewis will talk to me, which is the results wise, doctor, it's a, it's a very, very interesting language. And um, it was a very interesting course, I'd say. And, and I'm very excited to see how my results came up and um, to have my roadmap, to road, the roadmap of my own body genetics. And... Yes, take us through it, Dr. Lewis. Absolutely. We'll need the guys to share the screen for us and we'll do that. But I want to, while they're doing that, I want to say congratulations. It is, there's a lot of information you had to go through to become a certified DNA diet, fitness and health professional. So well done. And uh, you, you might be one of the only ones in Kuwait with that certification. And uh, you are all set now to be able to help provide people with, with feedback and information on their reports so that they can get the roadmap for their body. So amazing, amazing. And what people will see as we go through your results is that it's the reports are set up so that anybody should be able to take a look at it and understand it and get the messages and the recommendations about the steps they can take to really optimize their own health. And so just to remind people again, what we have is there are um, 70 areas related to day-to-day -day health. And what we're trying to do is make sure that you have got, uh, you know, which ones are most important for your health. So, so Dr. Lewis, um, she's going to share with me my results right now. And she's going to tell me exactly what my body genetics is and what I need to do to provide my body exactly what my body needs and not just like, you know, do just walk in and just trying to discover. I've got everything right here on, 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 on the results, as you guys can see. Um, here's a summary, basically. Okay, so fabulous. So we're going to walk through, and I love it. So what um, we've got, uh, Z, is there are four different uh tests that we do you get diet uh health fitness and brain and the summary report is really where all of the information comes together and we can find it all here and so we're going to take a look here you'll see um diet health fit and brain and this is how we read the report it's like that simple it's green is normal and red is where you have a variation and just because you have a variation doesn't mean that you're you're doomed or that there's a huge issue. It means that you have got a higher predisposition to an issue occurring. 
And this is where we get into this conversation of genetics and epigenetics. So we're looking at your genetic results. What you can do then is when you know that you've got uh, variations or some issues, now you can use epigenetics, which is lifestyle, diet, fitness, uh, fitness vitamins, stress, sleep, et cetera, to work around that, to make sure you keep your health and, and, and uh, work with the genes that are strongest. So that's really what the goal of all this is. And really, it's just incredible what you can learn. Amazing. Probably nothing yeah. else out there that you can learn this type of information from. Right. So the first part we're going to look at is diet. And uh, it's your macronutrients. So I got to tell you, good job, Z. You have, well, no, you thank your parents. You have excellent <laughs> macronutrient profile. Hey, so Ryan. you're the guy who can get away with eating anything in this part of the report for carbs, fats, and proteins. Um, you're, you know, you could get away with a keto diet, you could get away with a low carb, low fat, anything, because you've got the genes that can break all of that down and support it. Mm. What we're looking for is where is it red? And here you can see it's a bit redder in protein. protein. Your body likes protein. Yes. It does. And so especially if you are, you know, working out and at the gym, you want to be sure you're getting enough protein in your diet. So in fact, eating a bit more over the course of the day, smaller portions can be mm -hmm. very helpful. So this is really just great news. You're one of those people who just, you know, you're, you're laughing all the way to the, to the dinner table with this one. Also very low body mass index. It means genetically you're just, you know, you've got the right genes to maintain your weight. And if you put on weight, that's more your fault and what you're eating. So excellent, excellent profile here. We're looking at carbs, fats, proteins, and we also see that protein weight response. When you eat protein, you don't put weight on. So all of this is really excellent. Any any comments there? Have you always been able to? Keep yes. Most yes. So 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 basically, um, if I would look at here, um, Dr. Lewis. What would you call my body genetic type? Would you think am I um, a mesomorph or an ectomorph? You probably know yourself better on that. I, 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 I definitely think I'm a mesomorph. I definitely think I'm a mesomorph, as I can play um, both both sides. Um, I can I can I can work, gain gain weight pretty quick and lose um, uh, fat pretty fast also. So looking at that, yes, I'm definitely a, a, a mesomorph. I've got the carbs high. Uh, uh, pure and green, uh, 90, 90 percent. Exactly. Yeah. My protein needs is 67. That's a mesomorph, but, but body genetics, 100 percent. That's 100 percent body, body genetics. Yeah. But now we're going to go and take a look at the place where you've got some problems. <laughs> so now, now we're taking a look at food tolerances, and we can see here the reddest one is lactose. Right. So you did not inherit the genes to break down lactose on its own. So I'm guessing, you know, you can, so even if you don't have the genes, you can still eat it. It just means that your body has to figure out other ways to, to deal with it. And it can lead to inflammation, which is going to be another thing we're going to see a little bit later. So, right. I would expect that at times that you might not, lactose doesn't sit that well with you. How have you oh, found no, no, it? No, 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 at all. I mean, I'm, 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 I, I react pretty bad with lactose, even though I, lo I love having ice creams on my, on my cheat days. Um, Baskin Robin, um, to name a few. I mean, ice cream. I really can't. I can't. I can't digest lactose. Impossible. I'd, I'd switch from regular skim milk to an almond milk. Uh, I, I get. I get. I get pretty in a bad mood, and um, uh, my, my stomach gets pretty upset with lactose. I absolutely cannot digest lactose. I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. Definitely. Oh. Well, you know, it's certainly, it, if you've got really healthy gut bacteria or aged cheeses that come with their own bacteria, you can get away with it, but really it's not the best for you. And we're going to see later that it's probably one of the leading factors for inflammation for you. So you have some high inflammatory genes, which we're going to see a bit later. And so that together with the lactose probably creates some triggering that makes you kind of puff up and feel yeah. not a little bit more bloated, not as good as you'd want to yeah. feel. And I, I see here the caffeine I'm at 50 50. So basically, 50 50, um, I, pretty, I, can re, I can react to caffeine. Um, can I, I cannot have uh, a huge dose at one time. I can probably spread out the dose every two hours, I'd say. 
Exactly. That's a hundred percent. So you're remembering your course really well. What will right. happen is that the, because it doesn't metabolize, it builds up in your body. If you sit there and drink cup after cup, you will get an, it, it's not breaking down. And so it takes about twice as long for it to come out of your body. So you don't want to pile it up or you could feel a bit stressed or tense. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, you want to be a bit careful. That, but you said you'd come up with some tricks around that to get around oh, it because yes, you know you like did, your coffee. I did, I did. Um, once, 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 once I do drink um, sometimes uh, before looking at my test and I get all uh, jittery and um, the best way to do it is to stabilize it with sun L-theanine. It's an amino acid that they get from green tea. Um, I'd, I'd have it with, 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 with my caffeine and it just stabilizes it and it puts me in an alpha mood status. So it works pretty well with um, caffeine. 200 milligrams on L, sun L-theanine with caffeine works pretty amazing. I'd, I'd definitely say that stabilizes it. And I can see here the salt. Oh, uh, now it works well, Dr. Um, Lewis, you should try that. I can see the salt here. So sodium, how well you multiplies um, salt. It's at 25% green, 75% red. So um, I, I, I really have to watch my salt intake, which is my sodium, you'd say definitely, um, uh, Dr. Lewis. So I, don't, I can't have so much salt in my diet. I would really have to um, monitor that. What would you think, Dr. Lewis? Well, what it'll do is it'll have, it has the potential to have an impact on your blood pressure and some right. of the cardiovascular over time. And so that's why you want to be a bit more careful with it. And so, you know, table salt is crappy for us anyway. It's what you, if you're going to have any salt, make sure you're getting the really high quality mineralized salt. We need it, especially if you're working out and sweating, you need a certain amount of that, you know, just to, to keep your, your body functioning, but don't do the cheap stuff. Don't add extra, don't eat foods that are already laden with salt, not going to be great for you and for your heart and your blood pressure. I, I, I'd, I'd do a pink Himalayan salt. What would you think about that? Well, I think that's great. That's more of a raw natural form. It's more mm -hmm. absorbable by your body. It hasn't been, you know, refined. So that's a much better uh, choice. Just be modest in how much you apply to your food. Right, right. And now I can see. Go, yeah, you could take Now, I am going to add one more here. Now, this one isn't 50% red. When it's 50% red, it generates the recommendations. But this one, when I dug into the genes at the back, you have sort of a subtle... Uh, it's called a haplotype, a pair of genes that can lead to a little bit of gluten sensitivity. Certainly not the ones that really clearly create a problem, but this one says that over time, you might want to be a little bit careful about how much gluten you're, you're taking in. And because again, that can also contribute to inflammation. So basically the two big, as we go through the report, two big food watch outs for you are lactose and a little bit on gluten. And if you are working to really, you know, uh, make sure that you're 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 feeling your trimmest, your healthiest, uh, not foggy in the brain, uh, not not inflamed in any way, those will be really important. And also keeping the the salt in check, so those are important. Oh, well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Excellent. And so that's like that's your there's your answer. Like I, you know, what I love about this is that it's so straightforward that your DNA is set up with it. You can't argue. You can't, you know, once you know that, you can't pretend that you know an ice cream doesn't <laughs> affect maybe you, or maybe it's just today. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so it's just really good information. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a look. The last, this next section here is called food taste and preference. There are actually genes that cause you to prefer certain things like caffeine you actually have a little bit of that so the odds are you you probably you might like it a bit more than others but in general all of these are green which means you have normal taste preferences the one i do want to point out here is smoking behavior that one is 50 percent red if you have that gene it means you are more likely to smoke more if you're a smoker and so that's something you might want to be uh, just paying a bit of attention to. What? Any comments on that one? Yeah, I mean, um, I honestly, have to I have to pay attention to. I mean, I st I'm, I'm I'm starting my diet pretty soon, so I got hooked on the vape, and it's pretty bad. Tastes good, but um, it contains nicotine, and it tends it tends to make me smoke pretty a lot. I kind of well, like you have a gene. 
that that it craves it more than most people would. It's a, it actually creates a little bit of a compulsive behavior around that. So yeah. it's good to know that. And uh, you know, you know, smoking's not. <laughs> no, it's not good. No, it's not good. I'm I'm quit. I'm, I'm quitting that pretty soon. As soon as I'm back on my diet. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I get, I get, I get a nicotine craving pretty, pretty much. Um, so I can see that at 50, 50 percent smoking behavior, your ability to respond normally to, to nicotine. Mm, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. So, and so there you go. Okay. We're going to take like the last section of the diet power report and that is vitamins and so, and, and supplements. So this is a way, you know, how everyone wonders, ah, oh, should I take this diet, this vitamin, these supplements? What do I need? Oh, people said this one's good. Should I take that? This is your roadmap for which vitamins your body does not process and absorb as well. And so where it's red are areas that you should, uh, you should be spending, you know, doing more, um, taking some more supplementation. Now I have a belief or, or well, our food system and our food is not the quality it was 50 years ago. It has far less nutrients in it than it than it did or should do to you know herbicides pesticides you know big, growing big fruit and, and vegetables that look great but don't have the same nutrient quality so i actually think everybody should take a multivitamin it's just a really good way to make sure you're covered off but in addition to that now where do you need to really be paying attention so when we scan this i will say this one, this vitamin E here one is just a wee bit misleading because it's only one gene. It's not quite as red as, you know, as, as bad as it looks, but it still means you need to do some vitamin E work. Right. Where I am more concerned is here on the Bs. So on B6, B9, which is folate and B12, there's enough variations that because your body burns Bs when you're doing stress or working hard or you know, there's just, it, it's used for so many functions. Mm -hmm. It's, it might be an idea for you as particularly as you age to consider uh, taking a complex vitamin B. And as you learned in your DNA course, if you don't absorb it as well, you take something called a methylated vitamin B. Oh, so absolutely. you can get methylated versions, which release it more easily. So that would be an idea, especially if you're working out really hard or under stress um, you burn your bees, and this is a really good way to just make sure you've got everything that you need. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I, I came to find out that, you know, the vitamin Bs that you guys get from natural, um, from those energy drinks outside, it's it's not the, the, the vitamin Bs that you really want. You really want to get the high quality form of vitamin Bs. It's, it's a methylated vitamin Bs. Yeah. So anyway, that's really, so here a complex B over time would probably be a good thing for you. You know, your, your, your vitamin C is at 40% variation. So it might be, enough, you know, make sure you're getting your fruit. This is one you probably can get from your fruit or through some of your multi, a little bit of vitamin D. You got lots of sun where you live. So it's not as big an issue as here where it's dark all the time. Um, so where, you know, vitamin D becomes more important. So those are just a few vitamins you want to pay attention to. Right. You need to think about forms of calcium or how you can get that into your body without it being uh, cal milk and right. dairy. And we've got recommendations on that. And so mm -hmm. there's a few others that are good here. I do want to comment that bees are related to a process called methylation and the MTHFR gene. And mm -hmm. that is, you'll, you'll, you'll hear a lot more about that in, you know, health circles. So that's what we're trying to take a look at here. You're good on, you know, iodine, iron deficiency, no problems. And the last one here is omega-3 fatty yeah. acids. Your body will like healthy fats. Yes, that's And true. so that's the, you know, fishes, fish oils, um, uh, olive oils, uh, you know, flax oils. Those are all things that your body would respond very well and will take down inflammation. So those are a few thoughts there. Interesting. Very interesting. That is very true. So when we, now what happens is right after that section, those sections from, in the diet power, you'll get the diet power recommendations. So every place that was, you know, significantly read will have a series of recommendations. Mm -hmm. We always re recommend print out your summary report, print out these recommendation pages, and remember to start shopping for more of those foods. Right. And so here, 
You might want more fish, chicken, eggs, not dairy, because of your pro your profile, a bit more plant-based seeds and nuts are good, mm. but you've also managed fats well. So you can actually do, you know, you can do beefs and other things as well. Really, you're, you're pretty flexible, but a bit more protein throughout the day will keep you feeling, you know, uh, really strong, True. you know, let's reduce dairy reduce salt, caffeine. Those are ones we talked about. And then there's some food suggestions here to get some of these bees. So here's spinach, bell poppers, cauliflower, bananas, walnuts, etc. Those give you some of the bees that you need. Here's some uh, as well. Food recommendations for E. For calcium, you can see some suggestions like leafy greens are great for a, a, you know, a, a form of calcium. Um, and, uh, and then some suggestions here for omega. So it just gives you here, here's how you can add the right foods to your diet or take them out to be able to support your health. And, you know, people can use that then just to guide their, their choices as they're, as they're, you know, as you're eating. Right. You know, that's very interesting. That is very interesting. Great. So are any other questions on the diet part? Or we'll move to no, no, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty clear. I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got my roadmap to my diet and um, the action plan is here to go and shop and, 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 and get what my body needs. Yeah. Fantastic. So it's, again, it's, it's that uh, simple. And right. where else would you have that definitive of information? Like your DNA, your DNA doesn't lie. So here's uh, so that it just gives you such great information. The next section of the report, report is called health power. And that looks at some background processes to keep you healthy day to day. So it looks at detoxification, hormones, inflammation, and methylation, four very important processes that support your body. And it tells you how well are you set up for those? Well, we can see that it's a little bit redder in a few of them. The detoxification, these are outstanding results. This is as good as we see. So that means exercising, sweating, detoxifying is you do it efficiently and that you'll keep, you, you will really keep your body healthy by making sure you do, you know, that you're doing that on a regular basis. So excellent detoxification genes, very helpful, you know, especially when dealing with, you know, keeping free radicals and, and things at bay and keeping your body healthy. But you can see a little bit redder here in hormone health. So this is related to how your body regulates the sex steroids, androgens, and estrogen. So mm. it links into testosterone. It links into something called DHT, dehydro, hydroxytestosterone. Ah, I can't say it right now. Mm. Um, and so you'll want to be a little bit more careful on prostate health. And right. so just being aware that uh getting foods and when you are you know buying your meat you you will do because it's very red here you're better off getting meats with no hormones in them so you want hormone free uh you know free range types of uh, meats in order to not be artificially getting more of that in your body just because it doesn't regulate it quite as well right. and this is where you know we talk about people having hormone problems mm. if we see something like that we go okay cleaner meats that'll help you you mm. do you do a good a decent job at metabolizing them and then eliminating them that's part of that detox so once they're in the good thing is it eliminates for you but we do see if you're dealing with, uh, you know, sometimes if I see, uh, you know, women who are very red in some of these, they have to be very careful about, um, you know, what they put into their body for birth control and other things just because it can be a challenge. So um, this kind of gives you a guide at, you know, are your hormones well set up? Are they managing everything properly? Yours are good, or, or, you know, but it's red here. Watch your prostate over time and watch um, that you don't have hormones in your food. Amazing. So I've got a question here, um, Dr. Lewis, um, on the red part, um, mm -hmm. the hundred percent red part, which is the bio bioanalysis of androgens and estrogens. Um, so let's say, let's say, um, as a professional athlete, I'd, I'd, I'd take, um, let's say steroids or, or growth hormone. How would my body multiplies that? Um, since it says here, a hundred percent red, Will that will that will that affect uh, my body of of di digesting like let's say the steroids or the growth hormone or would that be fine? So again, we're looking at different uh, at different genes. So these are four genes in this area that 
help to regulate. It's not the full story. It's the story of the ones that are most important related to this. So remember that this is always only part of the story. It's interesting because I know from having looked at the back of the, the actual results that IGF, the uh, growth hormone, you your body is a little bit red in that area and can use a little bit more of growth hormone. So that wouldn't be the worst thing for you. Hmm. But if you're taking too much of the steroids, your body may not regulate it well. So or not you or anybody who has that. It could mean that you're, you're, it's, it could throw your body up. You start getting acne. You start getting all kinds of other, you know, again, weight gain because the body can't manage it all that well. So hmm. this just says a heads up. If you're doing any anything in that area, you're going to have to be watching it that much more carefully because some of the genes aren't set up to manage that. You, you, you know what, Dr. Lewis, um, it's amazing. I was waiting for you to say that, but it's because, yes, um, over the years, um, I did try high doses and I did try regular doses of steroids. And when I was on a high dose, it, did, it really didn't work well with me. It, threw me back, it, threw, it broke my body with acne and just threw me off the mood. And um, the, 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 the side effects overweighed the benefits. When I was on a regular... Um, dose, I'd say my body did digest it better. Um, I didn't break up with acne. My mood was actually pretty amazing, I'd say. And my results was through the roof. Um, I had my strength went up by 70 to 80%. I gained around 10 to 8 pounds of solid muscle mass within, I'd say, around 24 weeks. Um, so I, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. That's amazing you said that. That's amazing you said that. And regarding growth hormone, yes, um, I definitely do relate. I definitely need a little bit of um, more growth hormone, definitely. This is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So, yeah, so be, again, but you know, in all cases, always be a wee bit careful about that. So, mm -hmm. okay, uh, we're going to take a look at this next one. This is so important. You do have high inflammatory genes. So if things are in your body that are you're sensitive to, it can create inflammation. And, you know, inflammation is the lead, is the, you know, leading cause of chronic disease. Mm -hmm. And it just you know, can create weight gain, et cetera. So you, you've got overreactive inflammatory genes. And so... You know, it's, you need to watch out. Lactose could trigger it. Um, you know, the gluten can trigger it too much. If you're doing, you know, too much, you, you got to be careful what you're adding, you know, into your fitness because that can create inflammation. So be, be aware of that and conscious of that. It can lead, you know, again, it, 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 it you don't want immune responses happening because that, uh, you know, not healthy. Amazing. But the positive news, you have excellent cancer fighting genes. So that's excellent. That's that's the that, that is a very gorgeous and amazing news. I looked at that. Yeah, so that. And so I was yeah. just looking for Absolutely. Yeah, so fantastic. And then, so this last section here is called methylation, and that is a really interesting process. Um, it's it, methylation is is complex, um, but it's. It, it like it does a whole bunch of things. It helps with gene regulation. It helps with protein function and how. Um, you know, it mo you modify proteins and their structure and function in the body. It, it it's involved with neurotransmitters, uh, detoxification, and cellular energy. So when this is off, your methylation is off, and there's a lot of people have been talking about methylation recently on podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, this is a way to test how yours are set up. Yours aren't too bad. So mm -hmm. the only area you've got an, a big issue is this homocysteine into methionine. And so that's, you know, one area. These are single genes we test for. These are just means that half of the gene works, half is, it's the alleles. One, you inherited one variation and one not. And then you get recommendations here on what you can do with that. So you'll see here's some detox recommendations for foods. Here's some hormone recommendations. And then really usually the main thing on methylation is vitamin Bs. That's the, your easiest source for sorting mm -hmm. that out. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. That looks gorgeous. Yeah, excellent. Very clear. Okay. Super. Now we get into a super fun plot place, uh, the Fit Power. Give me one sec. I'll take your time, Dr. Lewis. Um, as you guys can see, this is my results and it looks very, very interesting so far. Um, uh, I'm, I'm pretty amazed to see those results. And um, now we're going to talk about the power and endurance. Injury and recovery, exercise performance, and exercise response.
Excellent. Let's take a look at this fit power report. This is great for people who are athletes are trying to get especially we do a lot of work with bodybuilders who are trying to get that extra edge and who you know you push your body so hard so what is it we've already looked at the foods and the background processes what else can you do now in order to get that extra edge so and remember everybody is different so i'm talking more to your results here so endurance and power most people are inclined one way or another you are perfectly balanced in dealing with endurance or power sports. So really you've got, it's a very strong athletic profile. Mm -hmm. These are always red because there are genes that if you have the fast twitch muscle, then it, it's not gonna support endurance. And if you've got slow twitch, it doesn't support the other. So they automatically counterbalance, which is why you'll see red here. They'll never look super green, but you have a very good profile um, you can basically, you know, it, all of it works. How do you, what do you like doing when, for, for working out? Well, basically I like to, um, work out, um, with weights and, um, do, um, uh, for cardio, I'll probably do Stairmaster or sparring on the bag, um, as a, uh, on a boxing bag for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so I definitely do both. I definitely do both. What you'll find is for people who, if you've got somebody who, and, and you're a personal trainer or you're, you're working on your own routine, if you are greener in one than the other, your body tends to deal better and perform better using that particular um, uh, focus. So it like endurance, if you're really green on endurance, you tend to like the, you know, the, the longer activities, more running, swimming, cycling, uh, you know, yoga, jogging, etc., and your body responds well to that. And so it's just a good way of knowing how, how to get the best results. Oh, and that's... then we'll talk a little bit about how you, but it doesn't mean you can't do everything else. It just is how your body responds best. So let's take a look at injury and recovery here. Uh, ha -ha. <laughs> um, you've got some red here on ligament and tendon. And uh, did somebody just have an injury recently? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I'm recovering pretty fast, I'd say. I'm, uh, I'm... And you're recovering fast because you actually have very good repair muscle, uh, repair uh, genes. So your muscle repair and other things surrounding that are really uh, excellent all green, amazing. And so you're somebody who can go to the gym, work out like crazy and, and then yeah, be back at the gym again the next day and still, and feeling good. Cause you just repair very quickly. If somebody has redder there, they need longer time between, let's say if you did your arms one day, you, you need to give them a break if it's really red on repair so that they can, um, oh, right. you know, oh, yes. themselves out. Yeah. Yep. Um, in interesting here. One of the other clues in this is that muscle strength, yours is great. It's not, you know, this is not that that's considered very, very good. But mm. if your muscle strength is very red, you're the type of person who needs lighter weights and potentially longer sets. So you know how people are always wondering, do you know, am I supposed to do heavier weights, shorter sets, you know, lighter weights, longer sets, the muscle strength genes, the repair genes and the power and endurance give you the indication of which way to work that for your unique genetics and your unique body. Yes. So I could, I could see here from my result, I can, I can, I can, I can do both. I can go um, heavy, low reps and I can go um, light, higher reps. I can, I can work on both. Both work for you. Doesn't work the case. That's just your genetics. And that's probably, I guess, look at you. This is why you like this stuff. Yes. You've got really good genetics for it. So <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. <laughs> I can switch things up. And uh, yes, I do love it. I do feel them both. Um, Terrific. Interesting. So. Okay. so we'll take a look here. Exercise performance. So blood pressure, this goes back to that salt. Just watch it over time. It's not alarming, but you just want to be sure, given it's a little bit red, monitor that over time that you're you're managing your cardiovascular health, which is pretty good here. It's These are kind of coming, the, their stroke and cardiovascular are a little bit red because of, of kind of those salt genes, but there's a couple of background ones that are good. You don't really, there's some that are, are, you know, linked to ischemic stroke and other, you don't have that. So that means it shouldn't be, in general, you should have decent, um, pretty good cardiovascular health, with health, which is good. Energy metabolism, this one at 50% red often means that you want to do a, a good job of pre-workout and post-workout nutrition. Mm -hmm. And so in the recommendations that'll suggest, you know, maybe get some balance of uh, nutrients and things before you work out, you'll feel better when you're working out and it'll keep you going uh, in a stronger way. 
and mm -hmm. excellent oxygen uptake. So you've got a strong VO2 max, the oxygen's there for you and works really well. Mm -hmm. So overall, you know, this is, this is the fitness profile. It's strong. Very We've good. got some reg recommendations here. Warm up before working out. You don't want to, you know, mess up those elbows again. Oh, Just yeah. monitor the blood pressure. Nitric oxide. Uh, I don't know if you if you use any nitric of the oxide, nitric yes, oxide. Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it expands the blood vessels yes. that can um, support. And mm. then there's lots of suggestions here around having workout snacks just to fuel, you know, wet, you know, having some protein and carbs, etc., just to make sure you've got the energy that you need for your workout. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Excellent. So, you know, uh, more definitive information than you can get in, in many other ways. This one, I'm not so worried about. This is related to the salt and the blood pressure should mm -hmm. be fine. Mm -hmm. Last section, brain power, um, managing your mental wellness. This is an excellent result. Uh, you know, the one that I look for most is Alzheimer's here. It's it's actually, we we feel Alzheimer's, it's not a disease. It is, well, it is, but it is um, it is kind of diabetes three. It's very linked into diet and how your bodies process foods. So mm. some people like the, um, oh, tell me who's the guy who's Thor. Um, he just found out that Chris Hem, Chris, uh, Hemersley, he just found out that he's got the Alzheimer's genes. Mm. And so he's switched his diet to a fall, much healthier Mediterranean diet, cleaner eating, and then it doesn't create placking. So basically what this is, is it's an indication of does your body have a tendency to plaque? Mm. And, and if you're eating clean, it, it's not a problem and you, you reduce your risk. You don't have the risk, not at all. Um, it does link into concussion. So if I see people with uh, very red here, they will usually be red and concussion, not a problem for you. Mm. Uh, and if somebody does have the placking, they need to be to get excellent protocols if they have suffered a concussion, especially if you're a boxer. So mm. a boxer should know about this because you could end up with more brain uh, injury than That's... the average person. So you can get away with it more than somebody who has um, gene issues in this area. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend even for parents to test their kids before they put them into uh, sports that could affect or create concussion, that they know that so that they don't, uh, they can decrease the risk for their, their child. So if you know that, be careful about going into, you know, American style football and banging your head or right. even soccer, hitting the ball on the head. So yeah. it's a great, great information to learn. You're great on cortisol, um, you know, depression, emotional eating is the one here, you know, just make sure you got healthy food around you. If you're feeling stressed, just so that you're looking so that you're not reaching for, for food when, when things are, you know, going a little trickier. Oh my God. That's a, that looks so, so amazing. I mean, I mean, I'm happy with the cortisol, um, thing, um, the stress hormone, um, that your body releases, which I'm at 100%, which is gorgeous. Um, my, my brain, um, power summary is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with it. The emotional eating. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I can control that, but like, yeah, I do get emotional eating when I get, when I get upset. So I do, I do get to snack out a bit more. <laughs> so go for a walk, do some exercise, yoga, yeah, yeah. meditation, whenever you're, whenever the stress is up, that's healthy and good for everybody. So that's the report. So that takes us to the end. We've been through, that's the summary. There's individual reports that go behind all of this. So we, you know, really, you really can work just with the, uh, with the uh, summary report, but then there's also a diet report. And I go back and look at the gene results at the very back, just to take right. a look. But here we've got a diet result. You can see there's more recommendations. Uh, you know, here, if you've got a little bit on dietary saturated fat, well, here's some suggestions. Exercise really helps moderate that. You just get more recommendations in the detailed reports if people are interested. But really the roadmap comes from the summary report and seeing your your red green results and following those recommendations and so, that's how yeah. easy it is to have more information about your body than you can wow. get any other way and to now live according to your dna working with your body versus against it wow i i, I could just say wow to this because um it, it did give me a, a very clear picture on what i should do and what i shouldn't do and um and it's absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, amazing. I'd say 
um dr lewis this is absolutely gorgeous you've actually opened up my eyes and 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 it's just like she says it is it is the roadmap to your target and um it's your genetics it's your own body genetics that says it not me not dr lewis it's your body genetics test that comes out with your results and guides you to your own road map what would you say um dr lewis yeah, that's fantastic. Don't we all want to live a happier, healthier okay. life? We want to live longer, healthier. And that's what you can do when you've got, you want it, this data is available. You want this data to make sure you're, you're, you know, you're working with your body. Um, it's valuable for your family. It's just, it helps you work out better. You know, it, it it's just going to keep, you know, keep you healthier longer. So it's really important. And I love, you know, that uh, Z, you've, you've trained up in this, you've got, you've, you know, you're going to be able to make this available to people in, uh, in the Middle East. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things, why wouldn't you do it? And uh, so when people do the testing, you do that, somebody helps walk you through it, you're, you're going to be available to help walk people through their results or some of your trainers or other people. And we, we love that. Uh, this is just a really great step for, for personal health. And really in 2024, is there anything more important that you can do that you can be doing than, than really looking after yourself, looking after your health? So that's our, our wish for everybody is that you take power over your health and, uh, and live long and healthy. It is available in the Middle East right now and um, be available on the website, www.shreddedslashdiesel.com. Um, you guys can order it online and we'll be more than happy to consult you a lot to see your results and guide you to your own roadmap with Dr. Lewis all the way from Canada. Doctor, we don't want to keep you up late. You've got lots of clients to watch out and guide them to their own body map back in Canada and everywhere. So um, I really have to say that, you know, good night. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much again to have you on the house with Shredded Diesel podcast. And um, thanks for taking me through my results. And it's, it's beautiful to see you again, um, Dr. Lewis. <laughs> Fantastic. Happy to come on and chat anytime and uh, just wishing you power over your health and to all of your listeners as well. And, and you know what, Dr. Lewis, just to mention something, would you like to have you sometimes down the line in a seminar here in Kuwait? Probably, let's say, looking looking forward, maybe late 2024, we'd we'll book your ticket and have you in, the, in, in Kuwait sometime soon. Absolutely delighted to go through this with others, train other people up on it and, and help you learn more about your DNA. This stuff is so fun. Like this is fun it's, stuff. It's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. We're going to let Dr. Lewis go have um, her beauty sleep. And thank you once again on the house of Shredded Diesel. Peace. <laughs> Dr. Lewis, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, sorry to keep, I apologize to keep it again up late and, um, uh, I, I'll, I'll be in contact with Sabine and um, update her on email and tell her that we've received the, 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 the swabs, the 20 swabs, they're, 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 they're at the office right now. Yeah, please, Dr. Lewis, go and have some sleep. And uh, Excellent. And you and you should be getting everybody doing this because this stuff is super. Oh, we got to work out on that. We can work out on that. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Good night, Dr. Lewis. Okay. Bye. Ciao, ciao. I'll sign off and all the best. Be in touch anytime. No Great. Problem. I really enjoyed it. No problem. Me Thank too. You. Have a good night. Bye. Walak! Ba, ba, ba! Chow, ya al-qali, chow, shedu, ya al-qali! Al-da'am, al-rasmi, hat-trick, bil-kuwait, al-khaytan, mal'ab kura, al-ajra. Uba, chidi, bida sawo fiya bintat. Uba, tadri shlon, batal al-telefon, talla awayhi, ala Instagram, dhifuhum. Yigul lik, birthday, academy, events, stores, camps, walak! Shafahim fikum. Allah, ta'abdu, anafahim fikum. Aqwa, mal'ab kura, bil-kuwait.